Team Wild Outfitters, your one-stop online shop for everything outdoors. Team Wild Outfitters has everything you need for your outdoor lifestyle. Visit us at teamwildoutfitters.com. Welcome to Realtree Global Hunting on Team Wild TV. This week we're back in Texas with our good friends at L3 Outdoors. As usual, they're slicing through the Texan night on the prowl for vermin, pests and problem makers. Texas is a hive of activity after dark, with a massive feral hog population moving from field to field, feeding on crops and tearing up the ground. Moving in packs, they can decimate land the size of a football pitch in as little as an hour. It's estimated that there's around 2 million feral hogs in Texas alone, and they cause $400 million worth of damage each year. Feral hogs can survive in any conditions as long as they have food. With Texas being plentiful with its farmlands, deer feeders and vast fields, it's easy to find a good meal. On top of the hog problem, there's also a variety of other problem pests that roam through the Texan darkness, including coyotes. Consuming mammals, fruits and insects, the coyotes are comfortably at home in the vast Texan countryside. Taking chickens and other small birds, as well as household pets, the coyote causes plenty of problems. However, Joshua White and the gang at L3 Outdoors have made it their business to try and control the Texan pest problems. So tonight we're outside of town, uh, just a little ways. Um, we've got some predator calls with us and we've got our 17 HMR. Uh, basically what we plan on doing is we're going to set out a predator call and something comes in, you know, uh, we'll shoot it. This property is just overrun with all kind of critters and um, we're going to go out and get this uh, 17 and put it through its paces. Josh heads into the darkness with his IK Tech call and places it on nearby fence post. As it wails into the night, both him and Jeremy scan the darkness for signs of life. However, all is quiet. All right, so we've been calling for coyotes and foxes for quite a while over here, and uh... Nothing's showing up. We haven't seen anything come into the calls. Um, it's still pretty early. You got a lot of people moving around and driving around. A lot of traffic on the on the roads and stuff. So it might, might, they might not be moving yet. The boys move on a little further. And spot two pairs of eyes moving quickly through the darkness. It's two coyotes. They switch on the architect collar to bring them in. They both come running. Jeremy gets them in his sights and takes one out. The other runs, although he hasn't gone far. Jeremy fires again and takes the second one out too. Boys find the first coyote not too far away. And then the second one a little further along. Good stuff. That's two problem pests taken out of action tonight. The following night, Josh is out alone trying to match Jeremy's impressive two in one night achievement. 
He's only just driven up the property when he spots a pair of beady eyes glowing in the darkness. Well, we drive for a coyote, and uh, I believe I missed him. If I had to look around with the flare, we're not getting any heat signatures off of it. I it sounded like a miss, but it's still early in the night, so I think we've still got an opportunity to get a pig. Um, so we're just going to keep uh, stalking along and hopefully we might see a pig crossing or something. Josh is obviously gutted that he's managed to miss the K8. It's a rare occasion he doesn't take his quarry. Determined to redeem himself, he heads out on foot into the Texan night, armed with the Nightside NS200 and his Fleur. He covers plenty of ground, determined to bag a pest. But all he can see is cattle. Then he spots something. Yeah, it's big. Can you get light? Can you get light? Do I get rid of this shit? Why are we going to release Bonnie down? There's a pair of eyes on the track, a little way ahead of him. Josh creeps forward. sets up the rifle. It's a feral hog rooting away in the field. This is Josh's chance at redemption. He gets the hog in his sights. And fires. The hog makes a run for it and Josh is confident that he's made a shot count. His shot was definitely good and the hog is out for the count. He moves into the brush and finds his quarry. We turned the corner. The cows were getting a little restless. I thought they were going to screw us up, but uh, they calmed back down. And we come around here and there's a bend in the road right next to a tank and this uh this pie ball sow is standing in the road so we just kind of hunker down in the road and let her feed and and do her thing man and when she gave me a shot i hammered her this uh 202 wolverine uh by sawyer it's the first time i've ever shot it was this trip um it, it was just a rush you know we didn't have a chance to uh to go to the range and try it and um, it turned out turned out good uh, and bad. I, you know, I had a miss on a coyote, but I made up for it. Put it right where I wanted. Um, I couldn't be happier. Whew. It's nothing nothing worse than when you miss and it, your just heart sinks. You know, you're just like, oh god, I can't believe I missed. Yeah, you know? and then you make up for it with something like this. This is awesome. So I'm gonna drag this this girl out of here and uh, we'll go get Hufford and get her loaded up. Although Josh couldn't quite replicate Jeremy's two coyotes in one night, he's redeemed his early miss by taking out a feral hog. The king of Texan problem pests. Good work Josh. Subscribe to Team TV for all the best hunting shows on YouTube.